Okay, what we're looking at is a Gold Star 100 megahertz frequency counter, the model FC7012. The uh, FC7011 I know came out about 1985. I'm going to guess, uh, it's probably a good, a good guesstimate that this came out around 87 to 89. Um, it's in wonderful shape. Case hasn't got a scratch on it that I've been able to see. The stand is in good shape. The front panel is clean. All the buttons are functional in there. The lens, as you can see from the gloss on it, has no scratches, no surface scratches observed. It's been taken very good care of. And what's even nicer, this unit uh, is a a very functional unit. Uh, it is accurate and sensitive and very surprising. We're going to give it a couple of little tests here. Right at the moment we are feeding in a hundred kilohertz signal from this uh, PTS 160, a uh, frequency synthesizer. That bank of switches up there is, allows me to control the frequency from hundred kilohertz to 160 megahertz to within a quarter hertz. Um, so I can get a very accurate uh, crystal controlled frequency uh, synthesized to this thing. Right now we are feeding in the 100 kilohertz signal and uh, we in turn are getting a 100 kilohertz reading. We happen to be at the moment on the 10 megahertz uh, range. I am on manual uh, uh, ranging. I could go to auto if I wanted and it would automatically switch my, my ranging. Looks like it chose to put it into the uh, 100 megahertz range for whatever reason. On manual, I, I'm in the 10 megahertz and I'm reading a, a 100 kilohertz right now. Kilohertz reading, megahertz reading if it is lit down below. Gate time is, uh, is flickering over here. And um, that's the update time. We are currently updating every hundredth of a second. I could update every tenth of a second, give myself another decimal place, or go to one second, give myself a couple of decimal places. I could go to 10 seconds and give myself an average that uh, after 10 seconds would be uh, about as accurate as this thing would get, uh, up to eight digits. And right now we are reading uh, 100, so 100 kilohertz. Uh, so that would be to be within the tenth of a hertz, huh? The least significant digit would be tenth of a hertz. Okay, and we'll go back to a one second interval. I have an attenuation attenuator over here, a push button. If I um, uh, am in, I'm in the um, uh, times one. If I'm out, then I uh, have 10 times the uh, attenuation, one tenth. Um, Let's go ahead and, uh, and put in something interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and take her up to 200,000. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's go ahead and take her up uh, to a meg. One megahertz, there's a thousand kilohertz, that's one megahertz. There's two megahertz. Let's go ahead and make it 22 megahertz. I'm sorry, that's uh, 12 megahertz. We'll do 22 now. Ah, went over range. There we go. 22 megahertz. 32. 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. And just for fun, to show that the resolution is there, let's, uh, let, let us pick, um, so we had 92 million. And uh, how about if we went um, 100,000? 
about if we went 110,000? Okay. How about 111,000? 111,100? And 11. You get the point. We have the resolution here. All right, let's go ahead and test the high-end frequency. We will um, take ourselves up to 100. 100 megahertz. We are reading all eight digits. We are in the one second update. We are reading 100 megahertz, 100, and we can get to the tens place here. All right. Can we go higher than 100? You betcha. We'll get a few out of here. How about 101? Two, three, four, five. We should start getting flaky about now. Six. Doing all right. Seven. All right, we did six. Seven we can't do. So we can get up to 106 megahertz. That gives you a little bit of extra headroom, huh? It does it well. Point is, the thing is accurate, um, and it's functional, it's very easy to use, it's been a very nice unit for my bench, it'll make a very nice unit for your bench. Good luck on your bidding, and uh, thanks for listening.